Mr. Spicoli has been kind enough to bring us a snack. And be my guest. Help yourselves. Get a good one. You guys, welcome back to Number Six with Cheese. Happy Friday. Today, we are sponsored by Hearth and Fire, a delicious frozen pizza company that we really clung to the past few months, some epic ones. Yeah, dudes, check the receipts, baby. We already reviewed it once when it wasn't sponsored, and guess what I said? This is my all-time favorite frozen food pizza. Mmm. <laughs> That's really good. Mmm, 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 mmm. This might be my new favorite frozen pizza brand. For real. Dude, this is one of my favorite frozen pizzas I've ever had. I'm right there with you. Go to the B-roll. <laughs> Taste small batched. <laughs> <laughs> Corey, what and why are we drinking this okay. today? <laughs> we got ourselves some delicious natty ice. That's right, 5.9% of alcohol in this bad boy. Ice brewed for a smooth taste, so they say. And uh, here's the deal. I love Natty Light. I've spoke about it many a moons. One time I went to the local convenience store and I said, hey, can you get me some Natty Light? And then this showed up. And I'm too much of a little Midwestern gentleman to go, I ain't buying that. So now I gotta drink all their Natty Ice before they're or they'll order me Natty Light. Which by the way, I asked them the other day. Mm -hmm. I was like, hey, just out of curiosity, how much of this did you buy? And I'm not kidding you, the guy goes, a lot. <laughs> and I go, okay. Oh no. I go, just so you know, like, let me know when you're getting low so we can switch to Natty Light. And then I was like, don't worry, I'm gonna buy all of them. Yeah. But let me know. And he was like, yeah, yeah, Natty Light, okay. I okay. love that you're getting special ordered natural <laughs> ice and light in Chicago. Like you just yeah, said, dude. he's like, yeah, we'll get it for you. This is what it's like to live in Lakeview. <laughs> what do they only serve? I feel like you can only get what, Cosmopolitan's at the convenience store. <laughs> the drink and there, the magazine. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm used to places where if you trip and fall, you might land on a syringe. This is <laughs> Northwestern Ohio, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> land of natural light. I will say I have not had a natty ice in quite some time. It's syrupy. It's honestly, maybe it's because I've been drinking a lot of them. It's not as bad as I remember. Well, this is my first one in like 20 years. So, so you this have is to a good, understand. you're a good uh, barometer then. Yeah, it's, Is it as uh, bad as you remember? It's not bad, it's just, way, it's really thick. It's almost 6% for a quote unquote light beer. Here's no, what it looks no. like. Not, what do you mean quote unquote? That would be natural light. But I feel like Natty Ice is still a light beer. Not like Miller Light Miller, not Natty Ice. I'm, I mean like compared to craft beer, Natty Ice is still like a light beer to me. Okay. That's just my thought. I, I kind of get what you're saying. But to people, to cold-blooded Americans, you sound like a fool. <laughs> You're a moron! Speaking of more Midwest, the folks up in Minnesota crafted this bad boy for us at Hearth and Fire. A pizza that we talked about we love. It's the Bianca, but Corey, what are the ingredients on this thing? Okay, this is wild. We I, A lot of people have heard of the five cheese pizzas. Sure. We're dealing with the sixer here. We got mozzarella, fontina, white cheddar, goat cheese, Asiago, and then Parmesan garlic cream sauce, also a pinch of oregano. I'm not kidding you when I tell you guys this is my all-time favorite pizza. Frozen, this is my all-time favorite frozen pizza. They sent us a handful of these and I made one a few weekends ago and mm. planned on eating some on Saturday, some on Sunday. What happened? I ate the whole pizza. <laughs> on Saturday, but I couldn't stop putting it in my mouth. It's so good. You didn't stick to the serving size on the box. No, no I did not. <laughs> also, a lot of oil in this. Like, this is what makes this so good. It's it. a nice, like, salty, oily, cheesy pizza. And I think this is like, look, I love red sauce. We even had their pepperoni pizza. We had their margarita pizza. Those are great. There's something about a really well-made white pizza that is in a league of its own. Game changer, dude. And I don't want you guys to think that Corey cut this pizza stupidly. I really love big, like, almost, double slices when I have a pizza like this. I don't know why. It's a super slice. I don't know why. I don't want two smalls. I want one big. Yeah, I don't know. it's a big boy. So here we go. Uh, for our second time, always good. I mean, your third time now. Yeah. The Bianca. Cheers. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's all about those, bro. 
Someone suggested that recently for frozen pizzas. You wanna beef it up? Mm -hmm. Take a little olive oil and give it a ring. I feel like they pre-do that for you on this guy. The olive oil ring is a simple zhuzh. Mm -hmm. A little zhuzh up. It's a zhuzh I don't normally do and I need to start doing. Start, but you don't need it for this guy. Start zhuzhing with the O squared, dude. Mm -hmm. mm. You hear that? That's a frozen pizza. Do you love it as much as I do? I'm obsessed with it. Mm. The fact that I have two of these in my freezer at home gives me joy. Mm -hmm. The fine folks at H&F, look at this, they sent me this a quarter zip which I'm obsessed with. It's Be so nice. Beauty. Hearth and Fire for Sixers is doing a buy two, get two free. Use promo code SIXER, hey, that's you guys, SIXER, S-I-X-E-R, at checkout, and you will get two free pizzas when you buy two. We got a four pack in the mail. Yep. Four's great. Slide it right in the freezer, keep some at the ready, for you never know when you might need a frozen pizza with this much flavor in a, in a pinch. And we loved all their flavors. They were all good. The only one we haven't done, so they also have a mushroom one. So if you're a mushroom person, we haven't reviewed that yet, but might want to give that one a mushroom, go. Mushroom, not for me. But if you maybe you're, you're obsessed with those earthy tones, <laughs> look at the undercarriage. Looking beautiful, looking right. What's wild about this pizza is they start with a minimum 20 hour fermentation that gives the crust its texture and flavor, and then they flame fire the crust at a thousand degrees to seal in the taste, and then they ship it to you. So there's all this like kind of preparation going on beforehand. They're not playing no games. Which I dude. really dig. It's the way Minnesota does it. They do it right or they don't do it at all. <laughs> I'm putting some sixer sauce on this slice. A little uh, Midwest greatness with a little bit more Midwest greatness. That's right, baby. Also, they do suggest leaving it out for uh, 20 minutos before you cook it. Mm -hmm. And then that will let it thaw enough that it gives it a crispier crust. We they also, told us that. They told us that. It's on the box, so you'll know. And then also, We've been getting into the turn move. Uh, you're seeing the footage right now. Uh, Corey kind of near the end. You can do it halfway. You turn that pan so you get a more even cook, mm -hmm. and that's really nice. Mm -hmm. What meat would you add to this if you could add meat to it? I think like the Chicago style sausage. The way they mm. do like the thumbs, like how Vito and Nick's does that crazy like sausaging. Mm -hmm. I would do dollops of like that. Not don't think like Domino's chunk sausage. Think like almost ground sausage that's like really tender and splattered throughout, a smattering. What yeah, about you? No, I think that's the move. I think yeah. you nailed it. Uh -huh. I was gonna say, whatever answer you had was inferior to mine. It would have been. <laughs> I don't think there's an answer I could beat that, I'm being honest. Right. Maybe a cup hot dogs? <laughs> Just some Kogels. Mm. I'm gonna have a third slice. What a delightful pizza. There's a reason it's my favorite, dude. Mm -hmm. Damn, bro. That accentuates your uh, biceps. Thank you. If they sell these on the site, I don't know if they do. Buy one if you want your friend to give you a compliment about your vein, uh, your veins, your muscles. Whoa. <laughs> a white pizza Whoa. and some natty ice. What a Friday. Yeah, dude. We came to play today. It's a special one. This is a combination that I can pretty confidently say has not been done too often. <laughs> natty and Bianca. I think people that traditionally drink, and look, this is my brethren back home in Detroit. People that traditionally drink a lot of natty ice are probably not eating, uh, Upscale white pizzas. Uh, yeah, you know right. What I mean, this is there's a little bit of like class to this. Natty and Bianca kind of sounds like that would be the name of like the the couple who's the coolest couple at the trailer park. Natty and Bianca. Yeah. Oh, Natty and Bianca are cool. They got a double wide. <laughs> <laughs> they strung up. They keep their lights strung up all year round. Mm -hmm. mm. I am feeling such good things about this pizza. I don't know how they do it. Well, after I do it, that thousand degree. They explain it to me on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Read the box, dunce. Now that I got my crust, now I'm gonna go into the number six with cheese hot sauce and have a little fun here. Mm, mm, mm. What's your favorite component of this pizza? Like, what's the one glaring thing that makes you love it the most? The oils, dude. The oil. Yeah. This is oiler than a 14 year old's face, my guy. Pre puberty. Sean E. Oil. Dude, Natty Ice just gets me in the mood to party. <laughs> Doesn't it just got something about it? This is the first time I've ever, or probably anyone's ever drinking it out of a glass. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I'm so used to drinking it out of a solo cup. Yeah, that's probably the only way. Mm -hmm. That's a little too fancy. I wonder if it degrades the flavor. Is that the right, is that a word? Probably not. <laughs> Feels like it should be one. Mm -hmm. Hey Webster, add that in there. I think the other way people drink Natty Ice is by opening it with a key. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Didn't we used to shotgun seltzers? Oh my God, never got about that. <laughs> Our stomachs would probably be so bloated. Bottoms up. It's so much carbonation. Oh. All right guys, once again, if you want two free pizzas, code Sixer at checkout, buy two, 
get to that's four pizzas for the price of two. <laughs> there we go. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel. Very excited that we finally got to partner with H&F. <laughs> um, they're awesome, dude. They just make such good pizzas. How about this today? They've got the mushroom, the margarita, that pepperoni one we had, and the Bianca. If you could be in charge of creating the fifth Hearth and Fire frozen pizza, what would it be? What ingredients would you have? What would you call it? Would we like it? Let us know. They're letting us know if we like it. I think I know their taste profile. Yeah, they, you'd like it. Corey, but Sean seems like he likes a lot of basil. Yeah, Corey would hate it, but Sean would be into it. That's a lot of pesto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Should I take, oh, I thought that Whichever was. Whichever one you want. You want yeah, we're not eating one? any more of that. I'm full. Oh, you're done? Yeah, yeah, almost girl just got a piece. <laughs> the link is right here on screen to buy. It's also clickable in the description below, pinned in the comments, so you don't even have to type anything. Take typing out of your life and let old Corey and Sean do it for you. Just click. We'll see you guys very soon for a brand new episode of Number Six with Cheese. Uh, we love these brands that believe in creators and like to partner with YouTubers. That's our favorite. And uh, guys, we love you. Sure. I'll have a drink. See you guys next week. We love you. Now that was a natural ice.